Next on 10 News, a new year means new laws. What you need to watch out for before hopping in the car. And we'll help you keep those resolutions. 10 News this evening starts right now. And could 2020 be the year when Florida finally legalizes marijuana? Today marks a key deadline for Florida voters hoping to see legalized adult use of marijuana on the ballot. I'm Carolina Lead. Allison Croft is off today. And I'm Katie McCall. We're here with Rick Kirby. Yeah, and I'm you know what? Bobby it, Deskins tonight. Yeah, everybody's in. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> Let's get that all out yeah. of the way first. Yeah. But now, are we going to get warmer? Yeah, yeah, so a warming trend is on the way. You know, we cooled off the last couple of days, but here it comes tomorrow. I think we'll push 80 degrees. Ooh, okay. That okay. right? In uh, maybe mid 80s by Friday. Sounds good. Well, it is a new era, and one of the most common resolutions that people make is yeah. to try to watch their weight. So we want to hear your say, Tampa Bay. What is your top health priority for 2020? Head to WTSP.com slash vote or scroll down to the As Seen on TV section of the 10 News app to join the conversation. Yeah, we'll be checking on that. We're asking because despite those personal promises, a new study suggests the 20s will be the decade when half of America reaches obesity. Mm. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser shows you why that's a growing problem for all of us. <laughs> Good for her. According to the Harvard Health Study, obesity is measured by body mass index. By that same standard, about 40% of Americans are currently considered obese. So that number is projected to increase by more than 20% over the next 10 years. All right, now we want to know, what will your top health priority be for 2020? You had a lot of choices here. It looks like we've got 25% get in shape, get more sleep. Ooh, 25%, that's a good one. See a doctor. Nobody wants to go to the doctor. <laughs> oh. Drink more water. 25% uh, quit, quit smoking. smoking yeah. Ooh, wow. That's a good one, though. Yeah. I'm glad a lot of They're people are quitting important. smoking. We all really need more sleep. Uh, get in shape, see? Took over at 40%. Okay, well, we're going to keep checking on that throughout the uh, evening. We'll let you know those results coming up tonight at six o'clock. The start of the new year means a lot of things. For the group pushing to get recreational marijuana on the ballot here in Florida this year, it marks a major deadline. Our Phil Buck has been following this story and today's deadline is a major step in trying to put this issue in front of voters in November. Through the state house or the Senate. All right, keep us posted. Bringing in the new year means new laws taking effect all across the country. Starting today, texting and driving will be a primary offense for Florida drivers. And that means you don't have to first be doing something else that's illegal in order to be pulled over. And the fines, they can quickly add up 30 bucks for a first offense, $60 plus three points on your license for a second offense. Also, the minimum wage is going up 10 cents. That means workers will make at least $8.56 an hour. That is above the national minimum wage. And those supplies you buy before hurricane season to prepare for any disaster will now be tax exempt. This should have been like that all along. Mm -hmm. You can read more about these laws on our free 10 News app. Aw, well, we're getting some cooler air for the new year. Rick's it going to be around for a while? Yeah, crisp air out there right now, but we are, we're actually going to warm it up. So tomorrow we're near 80 and then even warmer yet for Friday. All right. But then some rain's on the way. Some storms are in the forecast once again as another cold front comes. This is a fun one. Some local families are celebrating the new year with new members of their families. Meet Logan Alexander. Isn't he cute? He was the first baby born in 2020 at Tampa General Hospital. And get this, he came in at nine pounds, six ounces. I think I got here at 9 p.m. and he was out at 12. .4. Those big babies are always happy and healthy. Baby Logan will head home soon to meet his four siblings. I bet they're excited. Oh, and then over is. Here we go. If your New Year's resolutions include getting in better financial shape, you're not alone. Yeah, CBS's Naomi Ruckham uh, looks at how you can reach your financial goals this year. We have so many apps too. It's Nowadays, much easier to do. It, it now. helps you. I mean, when was the last time you had to balance a checkbook? I mean, you can really yeah. do that on an app or online. So, some financial advisors say instead of making resolutions focused on outcomes, ask yourself who is the type of person that can achieve those outcomes and then build a habit that reinforces that identity. <laughs> Three years after his son's death, one Tampa father is fighting against Florida's controversial stand your ground law. Yeah, this father says his son's shooter shouldn't have been able to use that defense. As he gets ready to ride to the state capitol, this father tells 10 News reporter Angelina Salcido he will never stop fighting for his son. Johnson says many people from the community will be riding with him. They plan on leaving in the morning on January 13th. We're also staying on top of some other stories that you need to know tonight. 
Investigators in South Florida are trying to figure out how exactly this road sign ended up going through the rear window of a Corvette. The man who owns the car says he was driving home when it happened. Troopers suspect that when he got onto the interstate and another car hit the sign, sending it airborne right into his Corvette. A fire scorched through a zoo in western Germany just minutes into the new year. That blaze killed more than 30 animals, including apes, monkeys, bats, and birds. Police say the fire may have been caused by sky lanterns that were launched to celebrate the new year. Former commissioner of the National Basketball Association, David Stern, has died at the age of 77. According to the NBA, Stern died from a brain hemorrhage he suffered several weeks ago. He served as NBA commissioner from 1984 until 2014. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has warned that his country will soon show a new strategic weapon to the world in the face of, quote, gangster-like U.S. sanctions and pressure, according to North Korean state media. Kim also said the nation would no longer be, quote, unilaterally bound to a moratorium on tests of nuclear bombs and intercontinental ballistic missiles. While the rest of the... You have to see this. Take a look. The Pope is saying today that he lost his patience when he slapped a woman's hand. You heard that right. You see it right there. The Pope slapped her. Check it out on your screen. It happened when she grabbed the Pope's arm in St. Peter's Square. Now, a lot of people were shocked to see Pope Francis, known as the People's Pope, slapping someone. You can see him shouting, hitting her hand, and then turning away with a scowl. During his New Year's address to the public today, he said, excuse me, for the bad example. You can check that out again at WTSP.com. President Trump spoke to the press before entering a New Year's Eve party at his Mar-a-Lago estate in South Florida. As CBS's Deborah Alfaron shows you, the president is gearing up for the Senate trial. The Senate ends its holiday recess at noon on Friday, but will not get back to work until Monday. Getting ready to pack. I don't know if I want to think about this, but sometime <laughs> between today and this weekend, many of you will be cleaning up, putting all those Christmas decorations yeah. away and getting organized. Yeah, it's good to know there are some easy organizing hacks that will not only get that stuff out of the way, but make it easier to unpack next year. Bright side, Jenny Dean. <laughs> it's like she was talking to me. Right? I want her to come over later, Jenny, if you've got time. Just, just for like a few minutes, get me started. Yes, yes. You know? How was the weather this weekend for cleaning up some of the outside well, lights? So, you know, a little cool today. <laughs> okay. Uh, low 70, not bad, but we're going to warm it up, and then we got a cold front coming in for the weekend. That's some rain and storm chances. We'll talk more about this. But first, how'd you like to see the first sunset of 2020? Right? Look yes. at this. Let's do it. This is Clearwater Beach. And 2019 gave us a record-breaking box office, along with a few celebrity scandals. CBS's Chris Martinez takes a look at some of the top entertainment stories of the year. And you saw winter is coming just about every single day trending on Twitter. Yeah, right after that. A lot of people say that. In the college admission scandal, Lori Loughlin is due back in court in January. And part two of the docu-series Surviving R. Kelly airs tomorrow. We're so lucky. We every are. day, Bobby Lewis takes us on the road to meet incredible people doing amazing things all around the Bay Area. And we met a lot of them in 2019. Today, he shows us the surprise one teenager got after she helped save a woman. Oh, she did a good thing. Oh, oh. It looks so good, too. They yeah. really remade the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, what a blessing. So you can see all of Bobby Lewis's year-end updates on our free 10 News app. Just scroll down to the On Your Road, On The Road section. And hope your new year is off to the right start. Share your thoughts with us on Facebook. And as you do that, let's get you caught up on some of the top headlines tonight on the free 10 News app. A man is in critical condition at a Bay Area hospital after a shooting at Gandy Beach. Pinellas detectives say two men were celebrating the new year by shooting guns over the water. One of them was shot and detectives believe his gunshot was self-inflicted. Meanwhile, Pinellas Park Police are investigating a shooting at a home on 80th Avenue. A man was shot in his lower torso. He is in critical condition at Bayfront right now. Investigators say the man's on-again, off-again girlfriend shot him, and tonight the couple is facing domestic violence charges. With the new year. The new year means fines are in effect for texting and driving. It is a primary traffic offense, so if an officer sees you on your phone, you could get pulled over. Here's the lowdown on this. You can still talk on the phone or have it still in your car, 
but not have it in your hand for non-texting applications, which are arguably just as distracting, right? There are a couple of places where just having the phone in your hand is illegal, texting or not, like an active construction zone or a school zone. Keep in mind, school zones are hands-free 24-7. The state has lagged behind other states when it comes to texting and driving laws, though. Cell phone use is blamed for a quarter of all traffic accidents or about 1.6 million crashes every single year. St. Pete is slated to have a new pier in this new year. It's really started to take shape over the last year. Look at how things have changed from January through December, from finalizing the design to starting the bulk of the construction that is visible from the street. It's very exciting. But there are some key projects that are happening this winter to get the pier ready for a spring opener. Crews have to do interior work in the pier, the boardwalk installation, the solar panel installation in the Pelican parking lot, and the vendor stalls are going into the marketplace. There is no set date yet for the opening of the 26-acre waterfront park, but 20 ambassador volunteers from high schools all around St. Pete are expected to get an extensive preview tour in the next month. Making health priorities for the new year? What doctors say you should do first. A lot of people getting in shape. A sweet way to start the new year for some Bay Area families welcoming new babies. We have a few to share with you tonight. Boy, are these cute. The first baby born at Tampa General Hospital at 1240 this morning, Logan Bajnek. This little fellow weighs in at nine pounds, six ounces. He's a healthy baby. He has three brothers and a sister at home. Congrats to Mother Brandy. Nearby at St. Joseph's Hospital, this is baby Diego. He was born at 1214 this morning. This is mom Yesnia Lugo's second child. He weighs in at six pounds and 13 ounces. Happy New Year and happy birthday, baby Diego. And this baby, born at just a second after midnight at Sarasota Memorial, Gertzie Rock was in labor for nearly eight hours. Thank you, Mama, before Alani was born. This is Gertzie's eighth baby. Her kids range in age from five to 20 years old, so nice big family to welcome her. Her little girl weighs four pounds, nine ounces. She is healthy. The Parrish family was one of 10 families that were in the delivery room last night. They have the most <laughs> breakups. I think they break oh. up right save before. Money. They want to say right before. That's right. You How guys are last in a month. Hey, it happens. Hey, what bring me into this for? <laughs> right before Valentine's Day. Hey, that's oh. when they do it. And that's also, isn't it weird that we're now saying tw the twenties because you couldn't do that so with the zero weird. zero. You can do it with the teens, right? right? The twenty. This is the first. It's decade. not the roaring twenties. I don't know what it's going to be called. Some right? are saying that though. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that was a good time. Is it going to be the rainy start <laughs> you know, to the 20s? You know, so rain later this weekend, but tomorrow and Friday look great. And okay. then we have some rain chances Saturday. Let's break it down. Let's take you to Clearwater Beach. We did the first sunset. Not even a future NFL career is stopping these guys from hitting the gridiron. He had such an influence. I mean, I grew up with him. I say, how could you yeah. miss any press conferences? It's a sad day, you know, it's for his family. So. It is. A lot of people, though, yelling Roll Tide today, very yes. happily yes. as well. Very much so. <laughs> Thanks for watching 10 News this evening. Have a good night. We'll see you back here at 11.